We got a wild, wild trade idea to break down on today's edition of Vikings Now by Chat Sports. And it comes from the man from FS1, Colin Cowherd, as this was the trade idea he suggested on his podcast. He had the Patriots receiving the best wide receiver in the National Football League, the Vikings' 11th overall pick, the Vikings' first round pick for next season. Oh, for what? The third overall pick in the draft. I cannot believe this. When I originally saw that Cowherd dropped the Jefferson trade idea, I thought it would be Jefferson. That's it. And the Vikings would get the third overall pick, another first round pick, and even a little more. But this is the trade idea that Cowherd tossed out there. We'll break it down more or hear more in a little bit. But I just want to stop all the noise and show the best wide receiver, frankly, the best non quarterback in football. Our support and our love. Type his jersey number. Type those 18s down in the comment section. Show Justin Jefferson some love. I just can't believe Colin Cowherd threw that out there. So type those 18s down below in the comment section as let's break this down. So originally when I got this trade alert, I thought it was flipped. I thought somebody had it wrong where it was like, oh, when he, when he dropped this out there that the Vikings would be receiving, you know, a 2025 first and maybe a 2026 first. No, Cowherd obviously had this, and all I have to say to this is this has to be a joke um, from Cowherd. Like, I, I just can't find any reasoning why he would think that the Vikings would make that deal. One, because Jefferson, I think he is the best non-quarterback in the NFL, and plus, like, his little argument was that the Vikings would be able to go get their quarterback. You know, they would be able to trade up into three and get their Jaden Daniels and get their guy but the thing is, I'm not giving up Justin Jefferson, the 11th overall pick, and on top of that, next year's first, just to go get a guy like Jaden Daniels to move up eight spots in the draft. Think about that. Coward says, for the Vikings to move up eight spots in the draft, they would need to give up the best non-quarterback in the NFL and a future first-round pick. It just makes no sense to me. I, I swear I thought Coward was joking when he dropped that because, I mean, look at this, man. Justin Jefferson, the highest yards per game out of receiver in NFL history at 106.4. He's been incredible, like especially maybe not this past year because obviously he dealt with injuries. But the year before that, you know, when he had that catch in Buffalo and the Vikings won 13 games, winning 11 of those games by one score, he was the catalyst. He was the reason the Vikings were winning most of those games. It was not a good roster the Vikings had this season, but 18 put the team on his back countless and countless times. Now, that's why I just I just really just don't understand this. Like, you know, in terms of Justin Jefferson, like, I still feel like he is undervalued and almost underrated in a certain sense because I think people think of him, you know, as a borderline top receiver in the league. You can make the argument for Tyreek Hill. Well, I think he's an all-time great. Like, I think he is a top five wide receiver talent of all time. Like, we're talking Calvin Johnson. We're talking Randy Moss. Like, he is that good, and you just don't trade all-time greats. Like, no matter what it is, you don't move off him. That's why I'm in the camp. Unless the Vikings, maybe it's the Chiefs, they say, hey, you know what? We'll give you five first-round picks for Jefferson. Then maybe I would consider it. But I'm not moving off the best non-quarterback in the NFL because I guarantee you the Vikings, if Vegas you know, put out like Vikings win total for next season, they said with Justin Jefferson, it's nine and a half. I bet you without him, I bet you he's worth three wins according to the bookmakers out west. So you just don't trade him. And also this point, the fan base will riot because not only – is Justin Jefferson a great football player? He also is a great dude on and off the field. Like, what he's done in the city of Minneapolis and just the whole state of Minnesota has been fantastic. Like, a role model for young athletes. You know, being, you know, I think kids also love Justin Jefferson because of the gritty. He's in a ton of commercials. Like, this fan base would be absolutely furious. So, listen, he has been a perfect draft pick. Like, he, you know, he doesn't live into that wide receiver diva drama at all. He's a franchise player. I think he, you know, in terms, I know this is kind of an NBA term, but I think Jefferson could be the best player on a championship team. You know, normally it's the quarterback, but I think 18 is that good where he really could be. But I'll toss it to you guys. Maybe you guys disagree with me. Maybe you guys, you know, think, you know, the Vikings could trade Justin Jefferson. I'll play some devil, devil's advocate here in a little bit. But would you ever trade Jefferson? Give me a T for trade or a P for pass down in the comment section. Now we'll say this. It is an interesting conversation um, in terms of where the Vikings are right now. And it gets to this here in a second. But, you know, with where the division's kind of shaken up and just kind of the whole thing with, like, you know, where the Vikings kind of stand right now, 
I think you could make an argument that it may be best for the future of the franchise, like way future, like the next 10, 15 years, to maybe move off him. We'll talk about that here more in a second, but I do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that is Game Time. If you guys are trying to purchase a ticket to a concert, sporting event, whatever it may be, make sure you guys do download Game Time and use this code VIKINGSCHAT, V-I-K-I-N-G-S-C-H-A-T. Use that promo code VIKINGSCHAT, and you guys will uh, get $20 off your first purchase. It's the best seats, lowest price guaranteed, and the thing I love the most about Game Time is prices drop as the events get closer. Game Time, another cool feature of the app is when you're checking out your ticket, you can literally move it around and see where your seats are. I absolutely love Game Time. Uh, I went to a Dallas Mavericks game the other day. It was awesome. So if you guys want to get hooked up today, Luke Bryant's coming to Minnesota or Minneapolis here shortly. So if you guys want to go see him or whoever it may be, use that code VIKINGSCHAT, V-I-K-I-N-G-S-C-H-A-T for $20 off your first purchase. Uh, get hooked up today. Link for that in the comment section and description of today's show. All right, let's talk about it. If you do trade Justin Jefferson, it has to be Hall. Like, that has to be number one here. If you even are considering the trade, you have to get multiple first-round picks, maybe a player, and then maybe also two seconds as well. You are not attaching picks and Justin Jefferson to trade up the number three. We're done with the cowherd trade idea. But now let's talk about why it would make sense I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I do not want to trade Jefferson, but let's just say you're in that camp. Let's think about it from the other side. Let's see it from uh, you know, the other lens here on why it does make sense to trade Justin Jefferson. I think the number one argument you can make, you can't compete in the NFC North with him. Uh, if you're looking at the three teams of the division, Bears, they got two top 10 picks, a young and up-and-coming roster. The Packers had the youngest roster in the NFL last season and went to Dallas and won a playoff game, and Jordan Love looks like a franchise quarterback. Detroit Lions. They just had a 17-point lead in the NFC Championship game. They're going to be good for the ne next five, six, seven years probably. Also retain Ben Johnson. The division's all the way on the way up, and the Vikings are kind of plateauing and maybe on the way down a little bit. So that would be the number one reason I can make for trading Jefferson. And it also ties, ties in the number two. You'd almost reset the timeline a little bit because – I, I'm not saying the Vikings were going all in on winning this year. And, you know, obviously the injuries were the biggest reason why this season didn't work out, especially the Kirk Cousins. But, you know, you could reset this timeline. Like, you could say, you know what, this Kirk Cousins, Jefferson era, we're completely moving on and we are getting younger and we're going to get a ton of draft capital and completely, you know, reset this timeline and reset this roster. So I can see it from that side too. And then also – you know, you would have a more complete roster if you do trade him. I mean, there, there, there's no doubt about that. Like, when you would move off, you know, a blue chip, all-time great type of player, the haul you would get would obviously allow you to fill out, you know, certain holes in the roster. So I see it from that perspective as well. But again, you would need to get a haul. Number four, and maybe this could have been, you know, the number one reason to trade Jefferson, is you wouldn't have to pay him. There is no doubt in my mind he is getting more than $30 million per year. And I'll tell you what also – they better pay him before Jamar Chase gets paid because the Bengals will probably give him $30 million a year. And I'll tell you what, Jefferson, whatever Chase makes, he's going to want more than that, no doubt. He's going to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the league here shortly. So that would be a huge reason. Another one where it's like, hey, we took advantage of Jefferson's rookie contract. We traded him, got draft capital back, and we don't need to trade him. I see it from that perspective. Also this, what if he wants out? What if the Vikings don't bring back Kirk Cousins this year? What if they draft a quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, at 11, and he is just an absolute bust, and he just does not work out whatsoever? What if he demands a trade? What if he wants out? And you could kind of, you know, you know, it's a whole Patriots thing where it's like you want to move off a player one year too early. Like maybe that argument you can make. But this is me playing devil's advocate right here on five reasons that you could maybe trade Justin Jefferson. I wouldn't do it at all, but this was kind of the other side of things that I didn't want to get you know, to you guys. Let's kick it back to Colin Cowherd, the worst trade idea I've ever heard in my life. Would you even consider accepting it? Give me an A for accept or give me a D for a decline. I hate even asking you guys this, but I want to get you guys involved. Or if you guys just could type F Cowherd down below, you know, I better not see one A for accept down in the comment section or else uh, I'm really going to question you guys' uh, football knowledge. But let me know down below. And uh, as always, guys, make sure you guys are subscribed. Whether it's a wild cow herd trade idea, you know, or whatever it may be this offseason, we're going to have you guys covered with the best content here on Vikings now. So hit that subscribe button, lock us in, and we'll see you guys next time. Skull Vikings.